in an earlier video we showed you how to use the new Delta drill press with the SJ2000 jig to cut down ball plug. Now we're going to show you how to finish it off and get it ready for drilling. So we cut it down. I'm going to use my bevel knife. Just scrape some of the glue from the plug dams that we used. It'll help from to prevent your uh, Avrilon or sandpaper from getting gunked up. Just a real quick cut that glue off there. Then we'll start with an Avrilon pad. Turn it on the ball spinner. Okay, it came out pretty nice. What I'm looking for is to make sure I have all the glue and cut off of it, so that's good. Now we can move up to the next step. I started with a 500, now I'm going to go to a 1000. This bolt came to the, the Pro Shop Shiny. Um, I'm going to just return it back to its uh, pretty close to its original characteristics. Of course, every time we drill a ball, we take the customer out of the lanes afterwards and make sure that they have the correct surface on the ball. It's a very, very important part of what we're doing here. So there's a thousand. This is two thousand. It only takes a minute. We'll try four thousand next. Every time we go up in number. It's like a finer grit of sandpaper. And you can use sandpaper. A lot of people are using Avrilon. Avrilons are a bit more expensive, but they cut the ball faster. That's why it cuts down your time in the shop. So it's six of one, half a dozen of the other, whichever way you want to go. And you can actually see that ball, even with sandpaper on it, it's pretty shiny. All right, so the next thing we'll do we'll use a little compound. Now a compound is a liquid but it actually has a grit in air so what it does is it removes some of the finer scratches out of the ball. On. Also with innovative spinners you can see I'm standing on this thing about as hard as I can. That ball is getting very hot you can't slow down our ball spinners. We, we make the strongest ball spinners on the market. There you go, that's with the, the compound. I'll turn the rag over and now I'll use a little bit of polish. We really like the, uh, we sell Storm and we sell the Pro's Choice from Lane's Con Lane Concepts. You can see that's a little bit thicker and that's your polish. Notice how I'm wearing the apron because this stuff has a, this stuff wants to splatter on you. Just work that back in a little bit, take the heat up with the ball a little bit, burn that polish into the ball. And now you can see the difference. This is the way it started out, and that's the way it's finished. So that's ready to drill now. Okay? And then we'll go back. We'll do the thumb hole and then in our next video we'll show you how to lay out the ball.